Hola, everybody. Welcome back to Code Dynamic Websites with PHP. This lecture is called Code, a Team Member Array and Template. And basically what we're going to do in this video is create a PHP array with uh, a few team members and their information within the array. And then we're going to code a PHP template that will pull the information out of that array and display each of the team members. All right, let's jump right in. All right, so in your code editor, first thing I want you to do is create a new file called team.php in your student folder. So in the root of your web site. So new file, team.php. Make sure that's in your student folder. There we go. And open the team.php file. Nice and empty blank slate. Let's get started. So let's add a PHP script. Inside our PHP script. Oh my goodness gracious. There we go. Let's do a couple things. Let's include our header.php. Something we're going to want to do for every one of our templates if we keep creating templates on our web page or website. And something that you will commonly do in uh, most, if not all, of your PHP websites. Because we have the header.php that has all of the, the important information, like the doc type and the opening and closing tags and everything like that, we need to include that in our templates. So in our team.php template, we need to make sure to include that. Something I want to also do that we haven't done yet is show you Consider this a little mini bonus lecture within this lecture. Basically, I want to have the title of the web page uh, be dynamic based on the page that we're on. And what I mean is the title of the web page, literally. So up here, you could just see in our browser tab, all it says is localhost 8888 and then the rest uh, of the directory. I don't actually want that. I want it to be the title of the web page. And you can do that in the header.php by just adding your text here in the title tag. But then it's just static. Every time we include the header within our templates, the title will always be whatever we put in the title tag. So if I go to team, menu, contact, if I have more pages, if it's hard coded in the title, then I'm always going to have the same title in the browser tab. But with PHP, we can make it dynamic. So check this out. What we're going to do is in our team.php page, above the include, that we include the header, because we want this to happen before we include the PHP header. We're going to define a constant. Remember that? Let me show you a good use of how to, to use a constant in real practice. So define title. And this page is going to be called team and then pipe Franklin's fine dining. So this is going to be the constant called title. Now, all we need to do is go to our header and do this one time. So in our title, PHP echo title. That's it. So every template that we create after this, as long as we define the constant title and give it the name of that page, the title of the web page that you're on will always be the one that you're on because you defined it in a constant and the title is dynamic. So check this out. All right. So I just realized a couple things. The title tab up here, or the tab up here in the browser, it just says title. The reason why is because we're on the index file, index.php. We didn't define a constant, so it's going to be empty and just echo literally the text title or give you an error. I also realized one other thing. The home page doesn't have any content on it. Simple mistake on my part, but good thing you're still with me because we can do it right now before we do anything else. It will take probably about 30 seconds, probably less. Okay, go to your index.php file. and you can see here, we just have two PHP includes, the header and footer. We don't actually have content on our homepage. Simple enough. Let's just 
add a div. Give it the ID of philosophy. There we go. I'm going to end that here with a comment. In here, I'm going to put a horizontal rule and another one at the bottom. And then in between here, I'm going to put a level one heading and say, Franklin's philosophy of fine dining. Under there, paragraph tag. And I have some text lined up here in my clipboard. You can feel free to copy uh, what I'm pasting here. Literally, you can't copy and paste what I'm copying and pasting, but you could type it out or just use lorem ipsum. Here at Franklin's, we know that good food isn't just about how expensive the dish is. We're not pompous. We're proud. We're proud of our work, our quality, our environment, and our love of for food and family. And then the last paragraph tag here, I'm going to say, oh, and you can call us Frankie's. Your family here. Stereotypical restaurant text. Cool. Uh, so there we have our philosophy on our homepage. Save it. Check out the homepage. Boom. There it is. Already looks nice. But we still have our title issue up here. Simple fix. In our index.php, define a constant. Define the title. The title will be home pipe. Franklin's Fine Dining. And there's our constant. Save it. Check that out. Home, Franklin's Fine Dining. There it is. Now if we go to our team.php page, which should be right here. Just click on this tab. We've already added our in our array the slug, so it should go to team.php. Here's team. You can see up here it says team. Awesome. Let's go back to our team template. And let's start coding some... PHP. All right. Let's not forget to include our footer. There we go. And a little typo over here. Perfect. So in between these PHP tags, let's add a div. Give that div the ID of team dash members and the class of CF, which stands for clear fix because I have a CF class in my styles which clears this div because we're going to have some floated elements within it. Not a big deal. If you care about what that is, then you can just go to the assets folder and the root of this code dynamic websites course files folder and check out the styles. Otherwise, moving on. All right, here we have our team members div. It's a level one heading, our team at Franklin's. Cool. I have some text lined up here. Feel free to type it out or just use some lorem ipsum. We're small but mighty. Franklin's Fine Dining has a family owned has been a family owned run business since the dirty thirties, and we're proud of it. When you get these three together, you never know what can happen. But you can count on one thing the best food you've ever had. Ever. A mighty bold claim. Alright. And then a uh, a horizontal rule after that, because I use some CSS to make the horizontal rules look pretty. So let's save that and let's see what we got so far. Our team at Franklin's, we got the text here and then our sexy little horizontal rule. After that, we need to add the three uh, headshots of the, the team members and their bios and all that sort of stuff. But the first thing we need to actually do is create the array for the team member because this is gonna be dynamic, remember? So go ahead. Open your arrays.php file. Right now, you'll see that we have only the nav items. Well, we're going to add the team members in here. So go ahead and in under here, make some space for team members. Let's add our team members array. Array, here we go. Perfect. In here, let's do some magic. All right, we're going to need to add another array in here because uh, we're going to add some team members. All right, here is the skeleton for the array. We need to add a name, 
And that will be, the first guy will be Frankie the third. And then after that, we need to add a position. And that will be owner, separated by comma. Another key value pair, bio. Frankie is the great grandson of the original Franklin. He is the owner of Franklin's Fine Dining. He cooks a mean frittata. All right, there's Frankie's bio. And now image. We're going to reference uh, what the file name is without the extension because I've already lined up a bunch of images in your image folder. You can see Francis, Frankie, and Carlos are the three team members. And we're going to reference the name and not the extension because uh, the HTML template will do the rest. We'll get to that. So Frankie, whoops, in a string. Frankie, perfect. So there is our first team member. Copy that. We've did already, already done all the work. And paste it again. Actually, one more time. And here we will add the other two team members. So Francis is the general manager. And we have some text here for the bio for Francis. Francis knows her stuff. The big sister of Frankie himself. She runs the show. Don't miss her Margarita Mondays. And then her image name is Francis. And then we have one more guy, and that would be Carlos, who is the head chef. His bio, Carlos is the epitome of the phrase, don't judge a book by its cover. These HTML entities are the left double quotes, right double quotes, the M dash, and then you simply cannot find a better chef. His image name is Carlos. All right. Save that, head back to your team template. All right, in your team template, let's get dirty with some PHP. And let's do a for each loop. For each, we have team members. Remember the team members array we just created. And the reason why the team.php file can access the arrays.php file is because in our header.php, which is included right here, we include our arrays.php within our includes folder. So it's all interconnected like a big web. Team members as member. All right. And then... We're actually going to close the PHP tag just like that because we can now write some HTML right here. But we have to make sure to close this for each loop. So let's add another PHP tag or script. The closing uh, curly bracket there. And now in here, we can actually write HTML. So we're no longer in the PHP tags, but PHP knows that there's an opening curly brace here. So anything after that is going to be... Uh, because of what's in this for each loop. And then we close the for each loop down here. Okay. So div class member. Member. Okay. So inside the member uh, class div, we're going to add an image. And the source will be image slash. This is where we start accessing our for each loop again. So PHP, echo, member, and then image. Remember the key um, in our arrays file is image, and that will give us the name of the image. So close this PHP script here, dot PNG. Alt, very important. PHP, echo, member name. The reason why I did this is because the alt tag should have something descriptive in uh, the image tag. So member name is actually going to get the name of whatever 
team member we're looking at. And then right here, we're echoing the member image, which is the, the slug without the extension. So we are going to be pulling each of the team members uh, using this PHP snippet here and here. So that will give us our image. A level two heading, PHP echo member name again. That will give us our name. We're going to get a paragraph tag here. And then PHP echo member and then bio. Okay, so that is basically, well, if I add one more thing down here after team members, I just want to add a level, uh, sorry, a horizontal rule just below there. But this is it. So that's all we need to do. We don't need to code three team members. We don't need to code this three times. I don't need to copy and paste this three times and then uh, hard code each of the members' names, bios, and images because PHP for each loop will do that. So I opened our for each loop right here. I said for each team members as member. So PHP is going to loop through our team members array and individually give us the information for each of those arrays within that array. And so each time it loops through, it's going to output this bit of HTML. So it's going to output a div with the class of member, an image with its respective image slug and its respective uh, name. And then same here, it's going to get the, the name of the member we're currently looping through and the bio of the member we're currently looping through. And it will do that until the array is complete. So because of this, check this out. We have our three beautiful team members, Frankie, Francis, and Carlos, with their, their names and their bios, all because of PHP. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and that's it for the team template. And next up, we're actually going to be moving a little bit further in and uh, getting our hands dirtier and a bit more, uh, we're going to be a bit more advanced with our PHP-ing. So I'll see you there.